Okay, let's see. Everything is kind of going sideways. All that, so he's a bit stronger. Maybe he can attack. My men are ready to thrace. Hope will decide. And we'll give it to a kin's person. One important. Thrace is somewhere down here, I think. Or here. Or there. Something Greek. Oh wait, you could do a holy war here? Let's see. Kingdom of Thrace. Let's do a holy war for Thrace before the crusade starts. That way, we are fully immersed in the war already. Before the war even starts. How many troops do you have, boy? Have to be an issue for us. That wasn't what I wanted to press, but okay. 12,000 sends a message. They were already very far with the siege, but they got beaten back. Not ideal. Imagine. Oh. oh, someone else is walking through there. How unfortunate for you. Look, they're coming. Coming to fight to do battle. Crown pearls. We have taken crown pearls. Are you a kinsman or something? No, lowborn. Wait. Crown pearls? Crown of pearls. Worse than we got. It sounded much better. I kinda need to fight them. Let's go fight them. You dare start sieging on my stuff. Damn it. My stuff. Are you a kinsman? No.
Um, let us lead troops for a second. Maybe not into battle. Actually won the fight. Impressive. Somehow I'm in this, but I'm also not in this. What? Need to stop leading troops again. I need to deal with our land that I don't want to hold. All this up here. Okay, even a weak clay month right now would do it. And there are no strong ones. I give you the barony of something. This one there. Where do I have... Where are these 78 always? Ah, defensive pact. Damn it all. Camp fever. Come on, do something good. Cured but a lunatic. Oh. I feel like I'm making all the wrong moves, but this will just be a little bit of a slow progression. Oh, Transylvania is finally trying its thing. Ah. He only has the Duchy of Hellas joining him. claim hungry let's get the whole thing once and for all send more troops in there Stop it. Now we send troops in there. Now that we have some to send. Silly. Sail for Thrace was successful. There's a new Latin Empire. From which we've already taken stuff. So that's good. Exactly what we want.
find these two. Fight the Hungarian troops in the south there. Let's get center leader in here. Some people to take care of this. Oh, that's a holy order, I think. I believe they're gonna hurt us. I just drew a moustache on a lady. You know, Marshall? This lady? Too great, but also not too terrible. That's... Recruit an honor guard? Donate to charity. Wait for this war to be done. Thus vassalizing Hungary. We can create the Empire of Carpathia. So let's do that, why not? Now I just need to revoke your kingdom title and I'm done. Or rather I need to wait for you to do something stupid. I can imprison you. But for now, of course, you're going to be very happy with us. Very happy indeed. Wait. Oh, no, I'm just a lunatic. I thought I was way more bad things than that. Scotland. Kingdom of Thrace. Scotland. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I would like this duchy claim done. And then we'll just fight Scotland, I suppose. Are you in a faction? Do you need to be asked to stay out of? No. I'm gonna see these right now. There's a whole bunch standing around for places. Luckily, no one around here is in any pact with him. How many troops do you have? 10,000. Hmm. Suppose we bring the full might of S the Serbian Empire. I wanted to say Serbia and then things got stuck and... Down right. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried that we haven't gotten another child yet. One kid ain't all that much.
Are you a kinsman? No. I will not owe you to train my troops. Oh look, ran into 5,000 of his. That's fortunate. I just wanted to kill the 500 that were around there. Don't even realize he had that many there. Fortunate though. I expected him to land in Zeta. Now I don't have to worry about that. Need to keep an eye on where he has his troops now. Maybe we can do it with the Kingdom of Thrace. Very fortunate that it's the Scottish that don't have any allegiances down here or alliances or anything. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I don't even know who that is. Seven thousand, eh? Bad. The army you got going there. Not interesting, actually, China. Don't care. We can upgrade here because we're already full with this. Let's just go along with construction. More legalism. Very much Scotland. Yes, let's introduce our heir to the realm. So we could usurp this uh, once it's open again. Peasant revolt, okay. I think we can do that. I think it would have been way easier to get the whole kingdom title thing had we gone south earlier. Because... Well, that's where all the action was. Where all the small kingdoms are, which don't need all that much land to get. Oh, so, yeah. Wasted a bunch of opportunity. Speaking of which, we should definitely get rid of all the titles that we don't want to hold.
this. I'm gonna have what is this? Something with M. Yeah. Okay, uh, you can get this touchy down there. Joey. Get rid of all this as well. Our daughter. Let's first get her a matrilineal marriage that she actually takes. Thirteen-year-old genius. That. Ah yes, usurp it. Usurp it for glory. And there we go. The first of many challenge is done, and thus we have completed the king, uh, the the monarch's journey for. King Stefan the first round and as we used to we will make a little quick save here and resign and have a little overview and see what we can remember about all these people and as you can tell we got everything so we will click on resign thank god what a difficulty this was it was fun in places but that existential crisis right in the middle there so we started out with blessed Stefan the Apostle who didn't do all that much, I think. Uh, next came Blessed Zora and the Pious. And then came our greatest achievement, Saint Zora and the Second of his name, ruling for 66 years and, as we know, being declared a saint. And then he was followed by Emperor Zora and the Third, his son, who ruled for 32 years. He was known as the Pious, but he was not a blessed. And then succeeded by his daughter, Empress Jagoda of Serbia, his youngest daughter, after giving women full status and changing the succession laws in such a way where she would get all the titles available. So, yeah, if you've joined along this whole monarch's journey, pff, kudos, thanks. Uh, I'm sorry I had this mental breakdown in the middle. Uh, but I don't think it's important, you know, things just not always go your way and to pretend those moments don't exist or don't happen would be doing yourself and the world a bit of a disservice. So thanks very much and pff, well, see you around. I think by the time this is released, Crusader Kings is out and uh, Crusader Kings 3 is out and I would be really surprised if there's even more Monarch's Journeys, but it's like two days from today where I'm recording this until Crusader Kings 3 releases and if they do another Monarch's Journey for Crusader Kings 2 I, I really I really don't know anymore I really don't know anymore <laughs>